What's up, boss lady crew? Back with another video. Yeah, y'all. Hey y'all, y'all see this chair? I come with a DIY for you guys. Happy New Year's to the, all y'all. I know it's been a while since I've been on here, so I'ma get this school desk chair together. See y'all, it was raggly when I first got it. It just came apart. It was water damaged, some of the feet missing off of it. We are gonna get it together. We are gonna put our boss lady stamp on the top of it so it can be boss lady approved. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all, this desk is for my little cousin. My cousin gave me the idea to do a desk. So, we're just going to take the screws out the bottom of it because it don't, the top part of the desk don't serve as no purpose no more. It's, it's water damage and it had split it apart on its own and it did its own thing. It's just time to throw it away. And I just took the rusty old screws out. The screws is rusty, y'all. And I just put it in this thing where you have to put... This little canister, I'm sorry, this little canister, put some vinegar in there and let it sit for two days. And you will see the screws sitting in there. It's supposed to get the cleaner rust off of them. And they have them back looking like brand new. Had the screws looking brand new. See, two days later, rust free. It got a little rust on a little paper, but it's cool though. We can rinse them off real good. And I went to, was this Home Depot and got the wood so we can redo the top and i took the old piece of the desk and i retraced it you know we need a template we need that template so i ain't throw away the rest of the i just threw the rest of the bottom of it that is split from and kept the top part and use it for a template so i can draw on top of the piece of wood and the measurements was just on the um i just showed it at the beginning and then I'm going to take my jigsaw, y'all, and we're going to cut this out. See it? I just drew the little template on there and use my jigsaw to cut it out. My son helping me, y'all. So, anywho, like I was saying, my cousin had gave me this idea. She like, you know, kids at home doing a virtual school stuff and she like you should do some like a desk or something like you know for moms out here don't have nowhere to put their kids because they probably you know you don't want to get you you don't want to get caught walking around butt naked <laughs> and your kid doing virtual school you ain't got time <laughs> Y'all been seeing some of the people like come on now they need a station for these kids to work at in this house <laughs> So she like, you know, Simone, you should just do a desk. I'm like, all right, cool. So she gave me the idea. So after I'm done cutting it out, y'all, I got to cut. And then I'm going to just sand it. Ooh, a mistake, y'all. Once that, once you done cutting that wood out, it is real rough. So you have to get some sanding paper. I could have used my sander. I couldn't find it at the time. So I hand sanded it, which is perfectly fine. It's cool. But, yeah, y'all, get them kids a space in a house where they can do their homework and be virtual. Because we ain't got time for these parents be in the background, walk around naked, these teachers seeing stuff, people knowing your business. We ain't got time. So, after I was done cutting it out and standing it and wiping it down, I just took some white paint. We need a base color. Because, you know, we about to do the proxy. Now... If you're new to my channel, this is how I do the proxy. It's stone coat, stone coat, coat. How do I say it? I'm, 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 I'm messing their name all up. I'm gonna put it in the description box for real this time. <laughs> and um, on my last, well, last DIY video, I had did the same thing. I show you how to mix it. I show you where it's from. Y'all can go watch that last video. Go watch all my videos. How about that? Go watch all my videos. And I show you how to mix it. I show you what colors to use. This one I'm using is the colors that's in the chair. And a little bit of gold glitter. That's all I'm using. And some white paint. That's it. That's all. With the colors, the spray. 
that pink is the spray in that can and the gold on that um in that in that can as well and a little bit of glitter so yeah y'all now i'm just pouring i'm pouring pouring all over eventually this stuff gonna harden up and it's gonna dry so and it's not gonna stay the same it's gonna get the you know, spreading around and stuff, doing his own little thing. And just we're going to play the wait and sing game. And then once we done that, we're going to move on to the next project where we spray the chair with those two colors, that gold and that pink. So, yeah, y'all. So, you know, it's a easy, it's a easy project. All you just do what I'm doing. It's very easy. You can do it. You can do it. With you. you can do it. And like I said, Happy New Year's. I'm going to try to get more videos out in a week, you know. I'm going I'm to do my best. I'm going to do my best, y'all. I'm going to do my best. And then all I do is tilt it so it can disperse a little bit. Tilt it the other way. Now I'm sprinkling on these little butterflies I had got. Y'all, I thought I showed the packet of butterflies, but I didn't. But y'all might see me using them when I'm doing my nails. You see the little tiny butterflies in there? They gold. I use gold, pink, and then this other color. Now this the gold metallic spray paint. And I'm just spray painting the bottom of the chair. All the metal part. Get that little gray looking, rusty, nasty looking color. Because when I got the chair, y'all, I ended up getting the chair... I went on, um, where the hell I go? I went on Offer Up, and a man, I wanted to get a chair. I'm like, let me get a desk. Let me just fix it up. And he was like, well, it's going to be $15. I'm like, okay, cool. I get to the place. He like, you can have it for free. Because it was like water damage real bad, the same way I just showed y'all. But on a picture, it looked different. So, you know, I'm like, you know what? It's cool. I'll take it. Girl, I took it and I, you know, and I'm fixing it up. It ain't nothing I can't do, baby. And you got to spray back, you know, you don't want them drips. A lot of people don't know how to use that spray paint. They spray up too close and that's how you end up getting drips. So spray far back, y'all. And I know y'all like, what you asking about? It's cold outside, y'all. So I'm in the basement. <laughs> And I'm taking this clear gloss, so it didn't dry the silver and the gold. I didn't wrap the gold up, turn around, spray the chair pink. Now I'm spraying the um, clear coat on there. I could have just left it like it was, but, you know, you want to use that clear coat to protect it. From, you know, especially if it's going in the kid, if a kid about to sit on there, you know, how they going to be all rough with the chair and sitting in it and, Flipping all that, all types of stuff. And then I'm using these wall decals. Like, I had got these from Walmart. My daughter picked them out. She like, Ma, you should do these. I'm like, yeah, you right, you right. Because at first I was just going to do some um, LOL stickers to go on there. She was like, no, I might use these, use these. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And you just stick them on. But no, y'all, you just can't stick them on because they're going to pop right off. <laughs> so... They sticky on the back. They 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 come right off, dog. So I had to use some E6000 and some super glue to put them on the back of it so they ain't going nowhere. You hear me? Nowhere. And I did it for the front and the back. See, the E6000? That's what I used it for. And you ain't got to worry about it going nowhere. And I'm taking these little leg things that I had got off of Amazon Cause the legs, the legs that came with it, it was just, it was only one leg on there. So I had to order these off of Amazon. Do a little hammer work. And they came out beautiful. Came out beautiful. If you don't get these on there, your chair will be rocking. It needs some evenly to hold it, you know. And I did all of them like that, all four legs like that. And they came out so beautiful, y'all. And it matched, the, and what a coincidence, it matched the gold on the, the uh, 
the legs. See? Now it's so beautiful. I love this chair, y'all. This is just the idea y'all can do with y'all kids. And they sell these chairs on like offer up by um by sell trade, like Facebook Marketplace. They sell these chairs. People be selling these chairs and y'all can just get these little ideas and take it and roll with it. Voila. See y'all for the next video. If you're new to my channel, what's up? If you old, what's up? What's up? And you know, stay tuned. Go watch the other videos. Comment on there. Give me some more ideas, and I turn it into magic. See y'all.